Let's take a look at another story sure. out of Washington, D.C. A guy named Mark Wittishek, who was found guilty of violating the very strict Washington, D.C. gun laws because he was found to have muzzle loader bullets, that is, just the lead slugs that go in a muzzle loading rifle. He was found to have those in his possession. I shouldn't call them bullets because they didn't have cartridges, they didn't have powder attached to them, but they were the slugs. He also was charged with having a single shotgun shell in his car. Uh, those charges were dropped, but the guy was convicted. What is this all about, Doug? Well, let's rewind the movie 18 years when I was an assistant U.S. attorney and ATF came in and said that Mr. So-and-so had a bunch of relics, you know, and hunting items, and we decided not to prosecute. Prosecutorial discretion. You don't have to prosecute every case. This case is like charging somebody going 55 and a half miles an hour with a speeding ticket. This guy had one shell, John, as a result of having gone deer hunting, and they turn around and charge him. And by the way, he could have gone across the river to Virginia or Maryland and bought the item legally. It makes no sense. We have a very complicated overlap of local, state, and federal gun laws. This case never should have been prosecuted. Yeah, and it was the same prosecutor who uh, let a guy named David Gregory slide. David Gregory, the uh, NBC News anchor, who held up this ammunition magazine uh, on, on Meet the Press. That's illegal. According to D.C. law, it reads this. No person in the district shall possess sell or transfer any large capacity ammunition feeding device regardless of whether the device is attached to a firearm. I mean, who's more guilty of breaking the law? Here? I mean, that's what's ridiculous that's right. here. Is, are we going to interpret a statute, a law, that strictly that a man with one shotgun case Come on. He actually moved now to Virginia because he's so outraged by this. It's almost offensive. There's such crime in the District of Columbia. Nice. Why don't they really focus on the people who are who have guns illegally, who are shooting yeah. people? He was just hunting. But the question had, is, why did they prosecute well, him? That's what Do we, we know that? To. He's a businessman, says it's ruined his uh, business yes, and his reputation, terrible. but he's going to keep fighting Bad on. Case, John. Rebecca Rose Woodland, Doug Burns. Thank you both. Thank My you. pleasure, John.